Okay. Um, I just talked to the camera for like a minute. <laughs> I realized it wasn't recording. So like the dogs when they come in, ideally, what I like to do with them initially, um, it's I don't like try to do like marker charging. So yes, give them a piece of meat or anything like that so they understand yes. And I don't um, I, I don't do like you know like the look command. I don't teach them anything <clears throat> in the beginning. I try to ideally. I mean, it depends upon the dog. A lot of some of them I don't touch for a week. I just let them decompress because they're just fucking nuts. But uh, ideally, I like to do this. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play with them. I'm gonna see how his prey drive is because that's the thing I like to manipulate most in training. See if he'll bite a little bit, and uh, and just fuck with them. <laughs> you know, play around with the dog. Uh, plays a huge part of how they relate to each other. You know, it's a huge, um, just part of who they are instinctually. So I incorporate that into training a lot, and this is just sort of like the DNA of it, you know. So, you know, you're creating a relationship with the dog. He's a good boy, he likes me. But uh, I, what I want to do is I want to get him to bite, so we'll see. Are <clears throat> right, you little freak? I heard you cut a freaky. <laughs> oh, poopy time. <laughs> yeah, that is rated. PG-13. Okay. Well, once he's done with his poopies... <laughs> yeah, that's not, uh, that's not cinematic, little buddy. Okay. How we doing? Oh, you're weird. <laughs> so watch, I'll just preface this. One good way to get them going, right, in the beginning. You actually don't even try to engage them. So you got the toy and you just act like it's like the best thing in the world. You don't need them. You know, you just kind of like snotty about it. But once he's done pooping his pants, I'll uh, probably show a little more interest, but you just, what you're doing is you're teasing him with it a little bit. He's kind of like, now he's looking at me. Drop it and grab it real quick. Okay. <laughs> Do the motion. Take a little victory lap with it. Gotta let go of the control freak in here, right? Strut around, he's big stuff, right? He's too tough. Let him win a lot, obviously, in the beginning, too. Uh -huh. Then you try to steal it. Now we got a game. Who's your boy? You like to cheat, I can tell already. Ah, that's a boy. Ah, I Let's go. And I'll bring it back to it, make it harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, too tough. He's too tough. They're called possession games. Okay? It's a game I'm teaching him the rules, the objectives of the game, which is to possess the toy. Then I figure like he wins. Okay? But if he, he lets go, I go here. 
game's no fun, you know? It's not challenging. Yeah. Now he's gonna bring it to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's teasing me with it now. Now he's putting it in the, big, in the middle. And he's like, come on. Technical stuff, I, I don't really have to side to side, you know, how much energy you bring to it. You don't even have to bring that much, but remember motion attracts them, and you gotta make it hard for them to make it competitive, okay? Yeah, and the, he did a great demo. He was still prancing around, and then he was bringing it to me though, okay? Because it's a great way to get rid of resource guarding. Objects, is, they lose meaning. Uh, on their own because everything comes interactive now so toys are like it's a piece of wood until I'm there to play with them you know um, what we want to do is promote possession of and therefore the value of this so then we can start to use it as a reward and training okay and it's a, a relational exercise and it's my favorite this is how I primarily it's how I prefer to train you know um, but not all of them have the drive to necessarily do it. He does though, so it'll be, it'll be fun looking. You're a little creep, funny little guy. <laughs> 